Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Blazker, and today I am bringing you guys another video. In today's video, I'll show you guys how to get modded wood in Lumber, Lumber Tycoon 2. Um, this is an updated version. Uh, the last video I made years ago has been patched. I'm not sure exactly when it got patched, but it got patched nonetheless, and therefore it does not work. So this method is very uh, interesting. It's, it can be difficult, but it's definitely rewarding in the end because it gives you long, long pieces of wood, such as the pieces of wood that you see on my base right now. So the first step is you're going to find the tree that you actually uh, want to mod. Okay, and you're going to bring that to the wood drop-off place. This is a very interesting uh, mod in, in, in regards to how it actually works, um, but it, it's definitely worth, uh, definitely worth it for sure. Well, it might not be, depending on the tree that you're trying to mod. If you're trying to mod like a tree that's super far away or super rare in the first place, maybe it's not worth it. I'm not sure. But I'll demonstrate in a very large tree so you can apply the same exact logic, the same exact method to smaller trees, which mo most other trees in this game are going to be smaller than this. Okay, so I'm just going to grab one of these trees, and I'm going to carry it to the wood drop-off center. Alright, once you get here with your tree that you want to mod, you're going to arrange it so that the trunk is what is going to be in the actual wood drop-off place. You're going you're gonna to flip your tree around and, um, to the point where uh, your trunk is in that green place. It's difficult to do. I know it's going to take a little bit, but you should get it eventually. I might have gotten it just right here. Just a little bit to the left. Come on. All right, good. So put it in there. Push it in there. Until that piece actually sells. Perfect. Okay. Then grab your other tree uh, parts out of here. Okay. Find the tree part that's going to be most uh, the easiest to work with. I'm going to pick this one because it's the smallest. Not this one. Let's get this one out of the way. Um, I'll use this one right here. It's the smallest, it's easiest to work with, so I'm just going to pick it up, place it in here, and then keep selling those trunk pieces, th those large pieces of those tree, of this tree, okay? So wait for this one to sell. And there we go. Uh, pull these one out. And same th uh, repeat the process. Choose the one that's e easiest to work with. I'm just going to choose. It doesn't really matter. These two are pretty similar. I'm going to choose this one. Then as you do, just uh, hold on to this end piece here, the small piece. And now you're left with this, okay? You're left with this small piece. And uh, what you're going to do now is you're going to bring this back to your base. Um, I've heard people say that you shouldn't drop this, you shouldn't place it on the ground or anything like that. Um, I've, tr I've tried this. I've utilized this method while actually throwing this around and, and, and dropping it on the ground intentionally um, and, and bumping it into things, and it still worked. I'm not sure uh, what, what you want to do regarding that. You can play it safe and, and not and try not to touch it on the ground or, or to bump it against anything else. But for this sake, I'm just going to drop it because I actually uh, need to put this up. And then if you want a super long, super long, super long tiny piece of wood, then you can use this method. But um, for the purposes, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it with um, a typical like big piece. So now that you got here, you have the smallest piece from that uh, big, large tree. Put it through here. And let's see how long going to make it for us okay we can already see right now that it is modded because there's no way that tiny piece of wood would have given me this that's kind of common sense um so you, 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 also, you can also see that i dropped it in the ground i bumped it into things and it still works okay so just just for just for uh your uh information it, it will still work should you accidentally bump it against anything but i've heard people say that it doesn't work i don't know i should work though and i'll explain how this works once this actually stops increasing which is it's, it's getting very large think about it, that tiny piece of wood that was like this small made this massive piece of max dimension 3 by 2.6 piece of wood is that not incredible I, I, I don't think the 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 modded wood video that I made years ago made this and I made even uh, pieces of wood this large and I don't think you get pieces of wood this large without without uh, actually hacking besides this mod. So this is very incredible. This is all legit, by the way. All legit. There's no hacks here or anything. I'm on Xbox, so I can't even hack in the first place. So you can do this on any console, any any um, any platform, whatsoever, PC, Xbox, PS4, whatever it may be. And it still continues to increase. This is incredible. Uh, this, this piece is from my last uh, duping attempt of this. And this is half. This is literally a half of what came out of that. So this might continue to increase for a while, um, but just for reference, I, this is literally half of what I got. So let's 
try to do this over here. So this should get like around double this size maybe. So it should be done any second now. <laughs> there we go. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> it went back in. Uh, it continues to increase though. It's absolutely incredible. This method is in, in, in insane. Absolutely insane. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you guys actually how this works. So pretty much um, what what the wood drop off actually thinks is happening is, well, what, what your sawmill thinks is happening actually, sorry, is that you're placing an entire tree's worth of wood into the sawmill instead of just that tiny piece of wood. Why does it do that, you may ask. Okay, um, following the method that I showed you how to actually get that tiny piece of wood, you may, um, may have come to that conclusion already, or may have come to the answer. What, uh, what, what pretty much what's happening here is you're placing that large piece of wood in trunk first, right? So you're selling the trunk first and everything else uh, but that tiny piece of wood. Leaving your game to think that you still have everything but that, um, you still have everything including that tiny piece of wood on the end of that, but you're able to put it into, into the sawmill. Um, if that makes sense. It's very hard to explain. It's still increasing. It is still increasing. <clears throat> but pretty much you're, you're, you're confusing your game into thinking that there's an entire tree on that tiny piece of wood behind it, when in reality it's just that tiny piece of wood. But th using the methods that we use to actually sell that wood, um, it's left your game to think, you know, but using the largest pieces to the smallest pieces, it's left your game thinking there's still a large piece of wood on it when you place it into your sawmill. If that makes sense, it's hard to explain, but it, hopefully that made some semblance of sense. Um, but anyways, you can do this with any piece of wood, any wood in the game uh, whatsoever. With this wood, that wood, the cherry wood, you can do this with the blue wood, whatever it may be. Just bring it, you know, the full tree from the trunk and use the methods that I showed you in this video, selling it from the largest pieces to the smallest pieces. Hold on to the smaller piece and put it into your sawmill uh, on max dimensions or whatever dimensions you want. And it should give you an incredibly large piece of wood. Mine is currently still going. <laughs> okay, uh, this is incredible because like obviously this is a, a large piece of wood and you don't want to sell this large piece of wood because you can't even easily maneuver this. So what you would do here in this instance is you would cut it up into thirds, fourths, or half, or whatever, maybe, maybe depending on how much you actually want around your base. So this is incredible. It, it literally continues to expand and it might, not, it might even keep expanding until I'm done making this video. But that is a 2022 updated version of how to mod wood in Lumber, Lumber Tycoon 2 completely legit on any platform with any wood whatsoever. Following the instructions I made in the video, you should have success with this method. It's finally, finally stopped. What an incredibly large piece of wood for just that tree. Even with that tree, you, you wouldn't think that you'd have this large piece of wood. And I wouldn't either. I'm not sure if that if it's still, if it's like glitched beyond what I said, if that makes sense. But this is incredible. Let's see what happens if I like, <laughs> try to fling this. It's, it's incredible. It's so large. I don't know what to do <laughs> with this. Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> I flung it somewhere. I didn't need it anyways. Don't worry. Oh, it's right over there. Oh my gosh. It's on the far side of the map over there if you see it. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Um, well, if this helped you, well, maybe, yeah, please try this. Even if you don't want to mod a piece of wood, try it just to see how incredible this method of modding is. This is once again, completely legit. legit. Um, if this helped you, drop a like, subscribe, make sure you comment any questions or video ideas you have in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And turn the bell, uh, click the bell, and turn post notifications off my channel so you'll be notified whenever I do upload. Once again, thank you for watching this video. Hope it helped. Try this out for yourself. It's absolutely incredible. And peace out.